All right, here's a look at what we'll be doing today. Uh, people have been asking to add particles to attacks, so here we go. In our sandbox character, we just want to grab one of the animations that we're using. Um, I'm just going to use my very first attack, just the standing melee attack. So I'm going to open up the animation sequence. Um, this is the one I'm going to be working with. So, okay, so I'm going to go to my skeleton. And first off, if you guys don't know how to show previews, right-click a socket and add preview asset and just look for the asset. And that's how you can add a preview asset to your socket. Um, if you want to remove the asset without removing all the other assets, simply hold left-click and then right-click and then you can delete. So you got to hold left-click down. So in the UEFN skeleton on the preview scene on the animation drop down where it says default we can change that to an animation so we can fiddle with our socket here and not have to keep going back to the animation sequence window okay so let's select use specific animation i'm going to use the arrow to automatically put in the animation i have selected and i'm going to use the hand to add the socket on and then I'm going to rename it the sword tip and I'm going to move it to the sip uh, to the tip of the sword and I'm using the hand just so that the the socket will move with the same kind of rotation that the hand makes all right once we got that socket placed where we want the particle to play from, we will add a notify at a location in our animation where we want the particle to play. Choose the notify play particle effect. I'm using particles from the Paragon character Wukong. He's a free character that Epic allows you to download and use for free. I recommend checking out the Paragon characters. They have a lot of free particles. Um... I, I just recommend checking out a lot of the free content that Epic offers in general because you'll find a lot of free particles, free materials, like materials of waving flags. and You can learn from it, but if you don't want to learn from it, you can also just use it. And for the socket name, we just want to choose the socket we just created, Sword Tip S. And then we can find a particle. Uh, I just wanted to show this real quick. If you come into this issue where it's saying that it is set to looping, but that the animation is a one-shot and so that they're not going to play it, go into the particle and select required and go down to emitter loops, and it needs to be greater than zero because zero will loop indefinitely. Okay, I'm going to change my loop duration to five seconds. But All right. And so now that's playing, and if you wanted to fiddle with the rotation of the socket, you can do it right here in the skeleton, and you'll see its its effect right away. You know, you'll you don't have to go back to the animation sequence. Okay, so it's just another way to edit the socket, okay. and you see it shows up there automatically. I'm. You can play with your particles I'm putting in. So let's let's add a different notify. Let's create our own notify um, and call it something like play particle effect. Because what if we wanted? What if we had a sword that was enchanted or something, and you had an enumeration? All right. So let's go into our animation blueprint and let's play that notify we just created, and we'll get a reference to our sandbox character and from here I'm just going to pull my weapon index because I have a weapon index and I'm going to switch on int but say you had like a uh, enumeration you could switch on enumeration of like a fire enchantment ice enchantment and thunder enchantment and then you could use this to play a different particle at that time depending on the enchantment that you're using and we want to look for the node spawn emitter e attached all right and we're going to attach it I'm just going to use a generic impact um, particle for now. And we're going to use the, the socket as the attach uh, point name. Right? So copy and paste your socket name into that attach point name. And then for the sandbox character, we need to get the mesh because that is the component we're attaching it to. 
And it's pretty that it's that simple. Um, and you just go, and now it's playing that generic particle. Uh, you can move it to make it a little bit better. Now you can use Niagara. There's a particle. I mean, there's a notify that that says play Niagara effect. You know, it's the same deal. All right, so thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, let me know. I will see you next time. Take care.